Thank you very much. Uh, I'm not a CBE. I've got an OBE years ago. I am, um, afternoon sessions are generally kind of really sleepy sessions uh, because food was very good. I would like to just know how many people are here from ICCR? Is there anyone from ICCR? Um, anybody from Ministry of Culture? So obviously, um, in a session which is to do with culture, um, two major stakeholders are missing. So, greetings. Thank you very much for inviting me uh, to this session. I'm here to share my 30 years of experience of working for Indian art and culture within the European context. I'm director of Academy, uh, which is also part of uh, the great campaign about which we heard in the morning uh, in UK. Academy is a London-based organization which is funded by the taxpayers of UK, so my work is British, yet rooted in India. It is framed within the ever-evolving artistic, social, educational, and economic context of contemporary Britain which is currently recovering from the eight years of austerity and battles of Brexit, which is ongoing for us. So Academy does not create mini India in UK, but we Indianize the West. The, the, uh, so this is kind of really reversed to the way we have been getting Westernized. I take India to West and Indianize, uh, and that is the basic principle. But then while working with Indian art in Britain, um, we are also woven into the tapestry of the creative sector of Britain. So we are not the patch. And so these are two metaphors which kind of really I use. Um, I have a short film which is kind of really edited clips of, uh, badly edited clips of what we have done in recent times. So my apologies for the quality. Can I have film number one, please? Thank you, thank you. So Academy is a unique creative interface between Indian and British performing arts, celebrating the plurality of dance in all its forms, embracing excellence in classical, contemporary, and popular dance styles from, from across the regions. Hundreds of years of India's cultural and political association and 40 years of Academy's own existence has led us to believe that we are an intrinsic part of British culture and part of the British creative DNA. 
the way ballet from Russia or jazz from America has established itself into the local psyche. We inspire and change lives by creating and nurturing excellence in Indian dance. We have taken dance to unexpected, unconventional spaces like underground walls, forests, museums, hospitals, community centers, Trafalgar Square, Somerset House, Houses of Parliament to Buckingham Palace. We have redefined the parameters of the art form itself by inspiring audiences, developing arts, and changing lives. So we are a dynamic, future-facing body where Indian dance connects with the wider contemporary art sector, almost a finishing school for young Indian dancers, a springboard for a large section of artists. A program brings Indian dance to the mainstream attention, capturing the Indian imagination through inspired storytelling and unique spectacles. We create vitally important pathways for the exceptionally talented artists, and every week they are found in heart of the community, life, creating life-affirming experiences for those who are disadvantaged, disengaged, and isolated. We develop artists, art form, and the use of the art form to connect with the life of UK. Uh, we do have a thriving commercial um, arm as well, which create uh, some amazing uh, exclusive entertaining experiences. Um, I would like to state that over last uh, three years, we have reached live audiences of 190,000 people with 151 performances, delivered 339 workshops with 7,500 7, attendees, and provided 300 plus artist development opportunities. Sorry, these facts are being given by my team to me. <laughs> so while thinking about this conference, I needed to be clear about the purpose of asserting a soft power to the world, since their world, there would be different solutions to different uh, um, situations. So from gaining borderless mind space to asserting our foreign policy or cut terrorism within the framework of our culture, value, and inherent knowledge and wisdom, uh, we would need a variety of strategies for the global platform. And at this time, uh, I would specifically like to share my one, one particular experience of producing Usne Kahatha, the troth, um, which was created this year and I brought to India as part of my India strategy. So you, you just have to think about me and Indian nationals sort of really sitting in Britain and creating an India strategy. Um, and this strategy celebrated 70 years of our independence, uh, centenary of World War I, Indian cinema, and the story of Usne Kahatha, which was written by Chandradhar Sharma Guleri, 100 years ago in Jaipur. Can I just uh, have the second footage, please? As I said, Usne Kahatha is an Indian story written 100 years ago by Chandradhar Sharma Guleri. This is the greatest love story of an Indian soldier who served in World War I. 60,000 Indians of undivided India died 100 years ago, saving Britain. And to mark our contribution, I decided to pick up this story and create a British contemporary show. It was not an Indian show, it was a Western contemporary show which was performed like a living, silent, black and white film with Hindi subtitles. Now, how did I do that? This was a British product created for the specific Indian market. India is one of the biggest market 
for the global business and UK trade and investment. And they had set up a reimagined India funding pot to enhance their soft power. So this was an add-on actually to the great um, uh, campaign. Um, Reimagine India sort of happened as part of the 70th, uh, um, 70th uh, anniversary of our independence. Thank you. Um, so in collaboration with British Council, which was part, which partly funded this project. I was also fortunate to bring several trusts and foundations, Indian Council for Cultural Relations, and I've discovered that the Vice President of ICCR is seated here. So, uh, hello, hello sir, or madam. Um, or oh, ma'am, hello, namaskar, welcome. So thank you very much for uh, coming on board. Um, ICCR, Ministry of Culture, three Indian state governments, all came on board to tour this show. It was premiered at the Jaipur Literature Festival uh, in the courtyard of Hava Mahal and had its finale at the Rashtrapati Bhavan on 13th February in front of the members of the cabinet and 100 war veterans. Eventually, this show was picked up by the British Army and we are still touring UK on behalf of the army to speak about India's contribution in World War I. So um, I think this was one of the kind of really one of the best examples uh, or best, best experience of any kind of diplomacy, internal or external, for me to engage with, where you know such a wide range of sort of, um, partners came on board, uh, and this show has already won three global mainstream awards for its artistry. Um, I have been invited by several business platforms to talk about this experience, about how to successfully reach Indian second-tier cities on their own cultural terms in Britain. Um, so to back it up now, I would like to suggest um, the reverse to this gathering on what India could do, could learn from the small and humble experience what I have. I think we need to study and compare our cultural solutions and strategies with the other competitors, especially China and now Pakistan, which has become more active, more culturally active with its new leadership. We do our honest SWOT analysis and be professional in dealing with our weaknesses, as well as be smart in celebrating our strengths, turn our threats into opportunities and milk them. Awareness and empathy with what already exists in India and current global trends. Make effort to establish partnerships with relevant players by utilizing our existing resources better. Strategic thinking, research is needed. Make better use of the existing bodies like um, National School of Drama, Repertory, which where investment is already gone. ICCR and Cultural Ministry need to really work together to, with private and public uh, collaborations to, to, and to be very clear about which brand of India is being marketed. Um, maybe across the ministries, but focus on quality, training, excellence, and investment. Digitization, we have talked about. Do few things better, well in a consolidated form to reflect our ambitions. Communicate and engage more with the people working outside India to promote. I'm pitching myself and all of us actually. By creating a database and regular engagement with us. Vision with a focus to regularly train and support the team responsible for implementation of the vision. I've realized that there is very little investment done internally uh, to train the staff and to train the, the human resource what we have, which is engaging in implementation of the cultural. I mean, diplomats are brilliant, but they are, their support staff needs to be looked after as well. To, to, to enhance. Um, Indian dance and cultural sector is generally run by monasteries established by gurus in a cottage industry form. I would like to suggest, and this is my last suggestion, is that professionalization of the creative world through investment in its product, i.e., I would like to recommend a state-run dance or repertory company or a national school of dance uh, is required. India has National School of Drama, National Institute of Design, 
national film school, but there's no national school of dance. We do have um, um, organizations which deal with uh, specific art forms, but one holistic vision to actually um, to be invested to really, really um, upgrade the experiences what we are together creating. Um, uh, just towards the end, I would like to say that it's the Tourism Board of India has got some fabulous films edited which are floating around selling one India to the world. And then they are kind of really juxtaposed against um, less professional dance work, which is kind of sent by um, um, different stakeholders from here. So I would like to end with one minute worth of film, which is kind of really a fun film, which my education department created um, um, for health and well-being, um, and food was a major part of that project. Thank you.